Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics School YouTube channel. This is session 12 in Base SAS programming series. In this session, we will discuss about six important concepts of Base SAS, and they are miss over, trunk over, flow over, pad, stop over, and scan over. So let us discuss the flow over option first since it is a default option on the infile statement. Here, when the input statement reaches the end of non blank characters, even without filling all variables. A new line is read into the input buffer and input statement and it also tries to fill the rest of the variable starting from column 1. The next time an input statement is executed, a new line is brought into the input buffer. Let's see a data and try to do an example to understand this particular concept in detail. Let's see a data now. Here you can see that there is a name and there are some numbers which you can say the scores. So in row number two, here you can see where Mike is written. Nothing is written afterwards. It stops here. So this is a data set and we will see that how SAS reads this data and what is the use of the flow over, which is a default option in the infile statement. I have already written the code this time for you guys. So you can have a look at the code that how I put up the flow over option in the infile statement. Let's run our code and see how we are going to get this data in SAS. So here you can see that Mike is showing as null and in a data set we had four rows. Joe for one for Joe, one for Mike, there was Bill and Adam. Now Bill is not showing. So what is happening when SAS reads the data and since there is no number or no score associated with Mike, it goes to the Bill's row. And when it finds that, that there is a value associated with it, even though it is not numerical, it takes up that value. And since it is not numerical, it shows us period. And then when it needs to read the next row of the data, it goes to Adam, not to Bill, because it has already read that data. So that is why you are seeing only three rows. Let's check a log also. Here you can see, and it is showing that for line number two, Mike score is period and it is an error and it is showing as underscore error underscore equal to one. If it has been zero, then there has been no error. In fact, when uh, there is no error, you are not going to see all this stuff in log window. And you can see here that, they, that it has mentioned line number two also. So you can get to know from log that where is an error and why it is happening. So that is the concept of the flow over. Even when I remove flow over from the infile statement, it will, which is a default infile statement in SAS, it will show the same thing what we had seen earlier, the way SAS is reading the data and the same log message what you're seeing here. And that is why I mentioned that this is the default statement for infile statement in SAS. Let's discuss another infile option, which is a stop over. A stop over tells SAS to stop reading when you find a missing record or when it reads a short line. Let's see a data and the data which we are going to use is the same what we had worked on the flow over option. Let's write a code and try to understand that how stop over option works. So here is a code and I have already put up a stop over option in infile statement. So let me tell you one thing before we run our code. Stop over is a very good option when you are doing debugging that whether our records are of same length or not. So, and as I said earlier, the stopover option does not read the data if there is a missing record in the end or if it reads a short line. So let's see how SAS is going to behave when we are going to put a stopover option. So since we have used a stopover option, SAS will not read the data if there is any discrepancy in the data. And you can see in the log window also that it has mentioned it very cor uh, correctly. The warning is here, the data set work.test may be incomplete. When this step was stopped, there were one observation and two variables. Data set work test was not replaced because this step was stopped. And here you can see an error message also. Input statement exceeded record length. In file, the location of the file and you can also see the option name which has been specified there. So this is a very good option if you are doing any sort of the debugging that how the your data is structured 
and whether you are bringing all the records or not. So it will help you to correct your error and then read this data. Let's discuss about pad option. Pad option add blanks to the short lines out to the logical record length, which is LRECL in SAS. In this case, pad takes the LRECL info from file. However, one can specify LRECL option in the in file statement. Guys, I have never used pad option. That is why I'm not doing an example here. Just because pad is also an option there in in file statement. That is why I have added a small brief in this particular session. Let's discuss about the miss over option. Miss over option is a very important in file option in SAS. The miss over option tells SAS that if it runs out of data, don't go to the next line. Instead, assign missing values to any remaining variable. And while reading a short line, the miss over option doesn't jump to the next line. Instead, miss over option sets it to the missing values. However, it can also skip values. Let's see our data and then we will do an example to understand the concept in a better way. Now, let's look at data set. I have made few changes from a previous data set. Here in name, it is again Joe, Mike, Bill and Adam. In scores, here you can see it is now 1000 in place of 100. Mike, there is no record after Mike. For Bill, it is 1000. For Adam, it remains the same, 1200. Now let's write a code and see how we can read this data successfully with the help of miss over option. Guys, I've already made changes in my code here and I have added miss over option in the infile statement. Let's run our code and see how SAS is going to read this data now. So as you can see here, there was no value associated with Mike. Earlier when we were using flow over option or stop over option, we were getting errors. Now this time, even though there is no score associated with Mike, still we are able to read all the four lines as it were there in the data set as it is. So miss over option is very helpful when you are dealing with such data. Guys, if you are appearing for a base test certification exam, then please do give extra focus on miss over and trunk over option. I'm 100% sure there is going to be one question on these two options. So let's discuss the trunk over option. Trunk over option in in file statement is similar to miss over option. However, it has one major advantage at miss over and that is trunk over tells SAS to stop reading when it hits the end of line or even a short line and it doesn't skip the information. Now let's see our data and then we will write the code and see how trunk over option has that particular advantage over miss over. So guys, this is our data set. Here you can see name, which is Joe, Mike, Bill and Adams. And now we have a state, Texas, California and Florida. And please notice that the length of Texas is less than California and Florida's length is less than California. And now we are going to read this data with the help of the miss over as well as trunk over. And we are going to see that how we can use trunk over option, read this data successfully, whereas miss over option will not be able to do so. Let's see that. Let's try to read our data set with the help of the miss over option. And let's see that how SAS is going to read that data. Let's run our code. So here you can see a state field is empty. In log window, you are not seeing an error because as we had discussed earlier that what is the functionality of the miss over and it is doing that. But this is not what we want. We want to read all the data successfully and this we can do with the help of the trunk over option. Let's change our code and then see. After making change in the in file statement from miss over to trunk over, let's run our code once again and see what we are going to get now. Now, when we change our code or let's say when we change our in file statement from miss over to trunk over, we are seeing what we exactly want. We are seeing the state associated with the names. For example, Joe is Texas, Mike, it was empty. So it is empty here. Bill, California, Adam, Florida. And that is why trunk over option is very important when you are reading such data. However, it also depends upon scenario to scenario that where you can use miss over and where you can use trunk over. But my preference has 
always been that if there is a short of line or if there is or you can say there is no data in the end then i prefer to use trunk over option over miss over option let's discuss about the scan over option a scan over option in in file statement position the pointer to a search condition in the file it uses the at the rate symbol and once it is positioned it continues reading as normal let's look at the data and then we will write a code and see how does this work there are chances that when you are going to read survey data then you are going to use a scan over option let's see an example here so in this particular data set you are seeing name is there and joe which is the name of a person a state is there and then what is the state of that particular person he is residing into similarly for mike he is residing in georgia bill he is residing in california adam he is residing in florida so now it's a challenge for us that how we are going to read this particular data there is one more thing i would like to mention that when you are using a scan over option use other options like miss over or, or trunk over otherwise you won't be able to read the data successfully let's see that how we are going to write a code and what is going to be an output when we are reading such data guys this is a code and you can see that i have already added scan over as well as trunk over option in the in file statement i have added trunk over option because of a purpose i have already discussed about the flow over option which is a default in file option in sas so if we are not going to put up a trunk over option the default option is going to be flow over with scan over and it will create an issue for us i'll suggest you after this session practice few examples and you will understand that why i am saying that if you are using a scan over option then generally you need to use miss over or trunk over option with it let's run the code and see whether we are able to read the data the way we want so here you can see even though there was name and state in front of joe and texas we are able to read only the name such as joe mike bill and adam and for a state we are able to read the respective states where a person is residing into in spite of this in our data there were name in front of the name of a person and the state in front of the state that particular person is residing into and that is where the scan over option comes in very handy guys this is an end of session 12 if you like this session then please do like and subscribe us thank you so much have a great day